Hello, I wanted to share with you a summary of my research recently published in the journal Developmental Science. This is work by myself and Dr. Adam Stone. First, we are grateful to the National Science Foundation and the National Institutes of Health for supporting this research. In this project, we wanted to know where exactly babies look when they watch sign. What we did was recruit parents to come to the lab, sit with their infant, while the infant watches a video of signed narrative. And we recorded precise gaze with a high-tech eye tracker. Here's a demo. We had three research goals in mind. First, suppose an infant's caregivers use sign language at home. Does that infant's gaze behavior look different compared to infants who caregivers speak at home? The second question is, what happens as infants age? Does maturation impact gaze? And finally, if the story becomes distorted and hard to understand, does that change gaze? We recruited and tested infants and children. One group whose parents are hearing and speak and the others whose parents are deaf and use sign. All participants were hearing. This is what raw data looks like from individuals. We aggregate the data and want to know on average the face preference. We compare face looking with looking at sign space below the face. That area is where the hands predominantly fall during sign production. These are the results. For values that are greater than zero, means there is a face preference. The extent to which the value is higher means there is a stronger face preference. If values hover around the line of zero, that means equal looking at the body and face. First result from the non-signing infants and children show that they looked more below the face. That's where moving hands fall, which may be attracting their attention. Results for native signers across all ages look primarily at the face. They did not look at the hands. Notice the two bars side by side for the two intelligibility conditions are close. That means that the low intelligibility, the reversal condition, did not impact gaze behavior. We think that for expert signers, reversal does not change gaze because they already have efficient perceptual gaze. Hard or easy, it doesn't matter. Gaze is maximally efficient either way. Perhaps to help with com comprehension. Another possible reason, signers look at the face because they habitually look at the face for live social interactions. In sum, sign experience impacts infants very early. We see evidence of expert gaze behavior already by six months in sign-exposed infants. Perceptual skills might ensure successful language learning later in life. It's important to think about the implications for deaf infants who do not get sign exposure. We see here that infants exposed to sign become expert sign watchers. But deaf infants who miss out on this input might be at a disadvantage. This needs to be addressed with future research. Thank you.